the Enterprise Park Forest, it's a 100 acre uh, uh, business park just outside Forest, a uh, high purchase site in 1997 and we've been developing it uh, ever since. Currently we've spent about £22 million on the, the park, there are 14 businesses here and uh, 11 units and uh, two just under construction at the moment. There are currently about 500 jobs uh, in the companies on the park and they cover uh, a wide range uh, from business process outsourcing through um, innovation, uh, elect uh, electrical engineering, uh, life sciences, just the whole range of uh, different companies. The views uh, from the park over the Murray Firth and up to the, the, the north of Scotland are absolutely fantastic. We've got 2.8 kilometres of footpaths on the park around the, the woodland uh, landscape on the edge of the park. We've got uh, the design of the buildings, there's a lot of sustainable technology used, ground source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, uh, green roofs and uh, timber uh, in the buildings. Uh, just add to the, the feel of the park and the creation of a unique environment. Most of the people that work in the park live in the Murray area, uh, whether that's the people at Capita uh, that are in the business process outsourcing area or it's the people that are working for EFC uh, in the oil and gas industry who would have uh, previously had to go through to Aberdeen but now are working locally or to companies like SEAL who are uh, you know, owned and managed locally and employ local people. Park offers a site for uh, businesses both indigenous and uh, out, out with the area to grow, uh, provides a high quality environment uh, and, and just a, a world class space for them to develop their businesses. Uh, Murray Life Science Centre. It's a partnership project between uh, High Murray College and NHS Grampian. It's to construct a 28,000 square foot life science facility here at the college campus in Elgin. NHS Grampian have been really active with a lot of digital health projects. They've been taking real life situations which they face in the NHS and looking to work with commercial partners to um, develop technology to address these situations. Inside the building there'll be three different elements. There'll be NHS Grampian that'll be doing clinical skills training and um, enhancing the, the training provision that NHS Grampian can provide in Elgin. There'll be Murray College that um, will enhance their course offering and there'll be the research and commercialisation area. This is the area that High is really interested in because um, this is where we see the NHS clinicians uh, working with commercial partners to develop these e-health solutions and commercialise them, so this is where we see the, the job creation. And the community will also benefit by the, the jobs, there will be an additional 55 full-time equivalent positions created with, with this building, and um, also the, the skills that Murray College will be able to provide. Yeah. Murray College, they're really strong in arts and um, hospitality, so this um, adds another string to the college's bow um, through um, offering um, enhanced life science courses. There are now over a thousand transition initiatives all over the world. Each initiative is striving to find a transition from our current way of living, dependent on oil, to a future way of living as a community, as people, without usurping the resources of the planet. We are currently converting this community centre, this shed, glorified shed, to a, an environmental education and a healthy living centre where a lot of activities will take place around healthy living, nutrition, energy consumption and living on the planet so that there will be a planet to hand over to our children and grandchildren. I'm really excited at, uh, and inspired by the level of commitment to social entre entrepreneurs in Murray and this is just one great example of a growing collaborative movement um, that will really help the sector face the, the challenges of reduced public funding um, and help them approach and be ready to take advantage of the new opportunities that, that lie ahead. We've raised a hundred thousand or ninety thousand pounds over a number of years and it is now being converted, it's being insulated, it is being converted into a functioning centre with a kitchen, with 
handicapped toilets, as I say, fully insulated both in the floor and in the walls and in the ceiling area, to enable us to hold meetings and to run many, many more activities out of here to be able to have an impact on the, on the community. And our aspiration is to earn some income from our activities as well. By working with Han Island Enterprise, we are taking ourselves more seriously, our board it is becoming more serious, and I believe that the effect of that is going to be that the outside world will look at us as well more seriously. We really need to, to marry the volunteer aspect of life with the professional, and we then hope that it will all be a social enterprise. We really want to trade locally, because the more local trading we do, the more money comes back into, into the local economy. Tom and Tell and Glenlivet have probably gone through a period of decline um, over a number of years and the Development Trust was created, um, funded by the National Park, um, Highlands and Islands Enterprise, Murray Council and in-kind support from the Crown Estate to really drive forward the regeneration of the area and focus um, on a wide variety of projects that would actually deliver both economic benefit um, to the area and actually change both the local um, residents' lives and visitors to the area as well. It's about looking at the assets that are underutilised at the moment um, and how we drive them forwards um, in terms of reopening empty buildings but also looking at um, projects such as the youth hostel and how we can make them um, more a year-round opportunity for us. Um, it's about changing people's lives in terms of delivering things that we take for granted in other areas um, like broadband, like transport um, and actually looking at how we can deliver them in a community-led way. So they can actually see that it's them driving um, the end results. Um, they can see how projects such as Community Broadband Scotland can actually um, deliver something that will impact their life themselves. This is um, the actual uh, old Catholic primary school in Tom and Towel and it's currently operated by the Scottish Youth Hostel Association um, as the Tom and Towel Hostel. Um, the Trust is actually just in the process at the moment of transferring that over to be a community run hostel. Our plans really revolve around turning this into a year-round facility um, that works both for individuals and groups um, focused on targeting um, the likes of schools, youth groups, outdoor um, activities to come into the area and use not just the hostel but actually drive more um, income into the other businesses um, locally and get out there and explore what the area has to offer. One of the key projects we're actually looking at is putting in a wood pellet biomass system um, which will obviously be loan funded um, at the outset and then um, within five years will be paid back and we'll have 15 years of income for the community out of the RHI government scheme. We, the Lossimath Business Association for 14 years has been trying to establish a viewing platform at RAF Lossimath. So unfortunately, uh, we found out about 18 months ago that that wasn't possible, especially with the typhoons coming with the explosives they carry. It was unsafe for the public to be anywhere on the airbase. So of course when the lighthouse came up, we saw the potential not only for a viewing platform, of the airbase with interactive cameras on it, but also the flora and fauna of the Murray Firth with the uh, dolphins and the local uh, fauna. And thirdly, of course, the lighthouse itself with its history and the history of the area. So we have three different uh, things, and no doubt uh, in time there will be other ones. Uh, well, the Cowsey Lighthouse is clearly a, a striking planned asset and community ownership of, of this type of asset gives them the opportunity to make the most of its clear tourism potential um, by providing employment opportunities and volunteering opportunities for the, the community as a whole. In fact, I had a phone call strange enough last night from a lady asking advice about taking on the um, tower in Dufton. Um, I'm not going to tell you what advice I gave. <laughs>